down below there's an electric vehicle. Is that yours? It is. So we bought that for the organisation a week before the pandemic hit. So it pretty much sat in the garage for the, oh, for the rest of that time. Disappointing. Um, but we were also limited at the time by lack of charging infrastructure in regional Victoria. So we had this electric car, but we couldn't actually drive around to our councils anyway. So I know that that's one of the projects we'll be talking about in a minute that you have subsequently opened up across all these shires, electric charging stations in strategic towns. That wasn't just solely for your own purposes. It was <laughs> Yeah, there's a little bit of personal benefit in there, I think. But yeah, I think it's really trying to make sure that regional communities aren't left behind as we transition to electric transport. And it's interesting because prior to those charging stations going in the ground, a lot of those communities and councils were really of the view that this was a city thing and not really going to affect them much. But since it's happened, it seems to have opened up a huge area of curiosity and interest now. So it's been a really good advocacy tool just to have those charging stations actually go in the ground. And yeah, it's been a good thing. The main purpose of the organisation is to bring these councils together to collaborate on climate change with the view that you can achieve a lot more and have a lot bigger impact if you work together. There is something inspiring about zooming out to the regional level when you're working at a local level you can often sort of feel a little bit like you're slaving away at this very futile or very big problem of climate change but i think once you connect up regionally it seems to be at that level that you really start to see how you can make a difference and we see that a lot in our members and our the people that are involved with our alliance is that they they do feel this motivation that comes from being part of this bigger collaboration than just the work that they're doing at the individual council level. Absolutely. I've been involved in the local ZNet movement and it can feel like, oh, even if we achieve it here, what does it matter if the rest of the world is not doing the same thing? Yeah, absolutely. And I think that's the thing that you start to see at a regional level is the ripple effect. And you can see how not only what you're doing locally affects the region, but how your region actually impacts other regions too. 